we are going to cover the page layout. We have a pink border around the edge of the spread. Now that is our bleed line. And so let's take, I'm going to take a background image. And we need to make sure that our background, whenever you're placing a background, um, you need to ex make sure it extends past the bleed line. Um, reason for this is when we trim the pages on any of the the machinery in the plant after it's been printed, we there could be a slight variance in the trim and we want to make sure that there is no sliver of white between the edge of the page and your background. So it's most important that we bleed the background past that um, bleed line. So let's just zoom in and make sure that we've got that pink line covered the pink bleed line. So once again, that pink bleed line is this border right here. Now, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit further so that I can show you the page trim. So inside that pink border is a thin black line. That is the page trim. So that's where your page will get cut. So I'm just going to move that border in there or that background. Um, that one's kind of light. I'm just going to place a different one. So we want to make sure. Um, so right now I place the border right on the trim edge. Um, like I said, if there's a slight misalignment, we might end up with a white sli a sliver of white between at the edge of the page and your border. So once again, let's make sure our bleed, our background or photo, whatever we're placing, is running past the bleed line. If you're intending for the element to run to the edge of the page. All right. Um, I'm also going to place a photo box here and I'm just going to go to my photo library and um, find an image here. Here's a image of my dear pet Max. Um, so I'm just going to enlarge that image here. And once again, if I want, if I'm intending for this image to run off the page, we need to make sure it extends past that bleed line. All right, um, so we talked about trim and now our next topic will be the margin. <coughs> Excuse me. So the margin um, is meant for text. Anytime we want to keep um, we want to add text to a page, we want to make sure we stay within this margin area. All right. And then let's zoom out a little more. So we've got columns. They're great for quick design. Um, I can just set my, my uh, adjust my text box to to the spacing of the columns if you'd like. Um, works great that way. And then let's move over to our right here. And when placing elements near the gutter, 
Um, this yellow area is your spine or the gutter area of the book. You, um, if you don't want to lose any of your images, uh, I would suggest keeping those on uh, the, either the right or the left of that, of that gutter area. Once again, make sure you do not have small text running through the gutter. Um, this will, if you, this could cause you to lose uh, word letters from the text. So it's always best just to, if you're running text from one page to the other, make sure it's a headline font or a te he large, large text. Um, this will avoid the, the loss. And I think, oh, let's continue with um, the rulers at the top. Rulers are based on, um, we, we offer the page layouts, rulers set up as either inches or picas. And Nabil will cover this in the Connect Me session in the Settings tab. All right, so my project right now, I believe is working in PICAS. And so I can take my guides and set it up wherever I choose to help for alignment. That is our session on the page layout.